So I'm at Mountain View Cemetery in Keystone, South Dakota in the Black Hills. And right behind me is one of the best views of Mount Rushmore from the cemetery. And if you're a Laura Ingalls, Little House on the Prairie fan, remember the little sister Carrie that used to run in the field in the beginning of the show? Well, her husband is buried here along with her son and her son helped build Mount Rushmore. The past speaks to us. Let's go see what it has to say. If you have ever read the book series or seen the TV show, Little House on the Prairie, you will know who Carrie Ingalls is and her family. Carrie Ingalls' family were true South Dakotan pioneers. The series of books, Little House on the Prairie, were written by her older sister, Laura Ingalls Wilder. Shortly after arriving in Keystone, South Dakota, Carrie Ingalls married mine owner David Swansea in 1912. Swansea was a widower with two children. Her husband was one of the committee members that recommended Mount Rushmore to the sculptor Borglum. Her stepson, Harold, was also one of the excavators on the Mount Rushmore project. Carrie spent the remainder of her life in Keystone until she passed away on June 12, 1946, at the age of 76. After Ma Ingalls passed away in 1924, Mary Ingalls, her blind sister, came to Keystone to live with Carrie until she passed away in Carrie's house on October 20, 1928. So many of the men who helped build Mount Rushmore are buried here. Um, and they have, you know, a beautiful view of Mount Rushmore right from their grave sites. I think that's awesome. So I just met this wonderful family right behind me. Uh, they're the Peterson family. And they come here every year. and take care of their plot and the Petersons are buried all over this graveyard and this elderly lady she's with her daughters or granddaughters and they are totally taking care of their grandparents their great-grandparents I mean going way back and she was just a wealth of knowledge and she was wonderful she said her dad used to mine on the other side of this hill uh, her father um, helped with Mount Rushmore, building Mount Rushmore. Um, it was just wonderful meeting them, but it was just so great how they still come today and they take care of all the graves. She also said that families used to have to take care of their own graves here for years and years where they would have to come and mow. And it was a family event to come here and take care of your family's grave. So that's a great piece of history. So as I said, what's really neat about the cemetery right behind me is that you have a beautiful view of Mount Rushmore from it. How cool is that? To get to the Keystone Cemetery from Mount Rushmore, go east on Highway 244. 
Highway 244 will become 16A as you go into Keystone. This road is also known as Iron Mountain Road. When you get to the Roosevelt Inn in Keystone, turn right onto Cemetery Road. Travel 0.6 miles onto a well-maintained dirt road until you get to the turnoff for the cemetery. The cemetery sits off of Cemetery Road. I'll put the coordinates down in the description.